gehabt ähm, in Angola. Uh, really impressive what they did there uh, recent years with the coach Gonzalez. Um, very, very good tacticians. They led their Afcon group seven points. Um, meanwhile, Algeria and Burkina Faso was also in their group. Um, they won the Kosafa Cup. Um, I think um, um, they, they, yeah, in Afcon they went to the group stage and they won their first group stage match ever, I think. Um, so um, it's been their most successful um, years with this coach and it's going to be very, very tough. Um, if you see the la their last results, um, also playing against Cameroon, a draw. Um, they lost only by one goal to Nigeria, one goal to Morocco. Then you can see what quality they, this team have. Um, their players like, um, I don't know, Zito playing Cagliari in Serie A. They have uh, uh, Dupe in the Portuguese league. They have a lot of players in the Portuguese league. Um, obviously with the connection um, from Angola. They have uh, uh, Freddy, they have uh, uh, Manuel Benson uh, playing in the championship. They have uh, uh, Nteka playing in the Rio Vallecano in La Liga. They have Clinton Mata in Lyon. Just for you to to see what caliber this, uh, this uh, uh, opponent is. Um, so it won't be easy for us. We have got good players as well, very good players. So I'm convinced that we can beat them, but it won't be easy. Um, and also we had some, yeah, some injuries, um, but um, I think um, the squad is ready. We have uh, a lot of players who can, who can match up. Um, and, and surely on this way, I wish um, all the players which are injured, Kamal Dean, um, Media Menza, uh, um and, and the rest, so we have more um, um, which are injured. Um, I wish them uh, their speed recovery. And then we see how the season goes um, when they could come back. I think um, um, so. It has both sides, like a lot of things. Um, so the good side is normally we would see each other more often, and that's good. But on the other hand, um, um, I think in general for all the players, it's it's getting a little bit too much. We have a lot of competition. Um, the FIFA has now announced a FIFA Club World Championship also. So it's, it's a lot for the players and a lot of games and we have to really, really watch out um, in terms of injuries. Um, so we'll see. Um, I hope that everybody will stay healthy because it's not easy to play in your club and also come to, to Ghana again and play in, in, in your club again. Um, and, uh, let's, say, let's say the worst um, examples maybe are if you're coming from America, uh, from the US, uh, come to Ghana, you have to go back and then play games, it's, it's really hard. Um, I know this, uh, uh, I was a player myself and it's not, not easy. Um, so we have to watch out of um, our players' health. Um, but yeah, on the other side, it's, for us it's good to, to see them, but I hope that it's, it won't be too much for them. Yeah, I hope so. you come very late uh, with Elisha, um, some minor problems, um, but I hope um, they will be okay. We, especially Elisha, some massive problems, so we, told them to, to um, access um, their doctors uh, where they are first, so, but I think it will be okay, I hope so. We'll see and then after training we will, um, the doctor will um, will talk to them and see how they feel and we will check them. Um, so there, there's a little bit of a question mark, um, to be honest, but I um, hope it will be okay, especially on Elisha. Your name is Elsie. In your second coming out, for one, closely all your four games, uh, my few observations are that one, long balls uh, are very weak to long balls that, that are floating in the zone. We do concede. I want to find out if it's down to physique or it's two. Across of time, let's give that opportunity to give the chance for one question. Yes. Um, yeah, I think um, um, you're right, we had problems with that, um, we talked about it. It's, for me, it's not easy to, to work particular on that because we just had three days of training, so it's, it's not that easy. And they also came from games, so we can't be, um, we can just address it. Um, surely, um, after the game, I give, especially the defenders, this, um, this thing with, uh, with them on, on their way back home to work on that. Um, it's more a positional thing, so it's a more about recon recognizing when the ball is open, not to be too close to your opponent, to step back, to cover the space, and um, have like four or five meters 
um, um, distance from your striker because when the ball comes short you can step up to press him and prevent him from turning and when the ball comes long you are you are um, uh, um, you are already ahead and your body position is also um, important because if you're sideways you can run to both sides very very fast if you're standing like this and you're flat-footed you have to turn first so it's more about technical uh, things uh, in general individual tactics on which we have to improve and we, we addressed it and um, I'm convinced that uh, this won't happen again. Coach, my name is Mutala. I work with Max TV and Star Times. My question has to do with Inaki Williams. I mean, when he was coming into the Black Stars, a lot was expected of him. Uh, ever since he came, he's not really hit the ground running as compared to what he did at Bilbao. Does he require time after almost two years? Does he still require time to build the synergy with the rest of the squad? And what is really the problem? Is it that his doctrine is different from what we know here? Because there seems to be a disconnection between him and the rest of the squad sometimes. Um, yeah, I think um, there are more things coming together. Um, surely one of the things is the players playing with him because he shows what he can in, in, in Spain. So we also, it's not only like he has to adapt to, let's say, the other players but they have to adapt also to him and uh, we know what the strength are to run deep to to um, um, threaten the the last line the the defenders to go beyond that and we have to use his quality more and um, yeah, for for me it's always both both ways surely he can also um, make his game more flexible but also I think we also have to put focus on how to put him in the in his best spot and it's running behind the defensive line. It's about recognizing situations when we in the midfield have the ball open or the defenders and to know where he's running. Um, and yeah, it's, I can't really say how it was the last um, two years because I was not there. So um, it's difficult for me to say why. Um, this is the first time he's now there and um, surely this is a, a topic we will have to work on and have to address. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not concerned. Um, Kumasi fans, in my time, never let us down. Um, the last game we were 2 1 behind against uh, Central African Republic, and um, they supported us all the way. So I don't worry. Um, they're always supportive, um, they help us, um, and really, really, we will need them tomorrow. Um, they could suggest for me. Um, keep it up, what they're doing, and uh, it's very, very helpful. They're like our 12th player, and uh, we love to play in Kumasi. Thank you. Sahara Football. Coach, you, you spoke about how congested the schedule is. You just had just one full training session here with 22 players, and our hat-trick will score in the last game just arrived this morning. Are you ready, considering all these things and the admission you made yourself to how congested it is and how difficult it is Um, yes, I've watched watched the games, and like I said, um, this is the yeah. I think statistical wise, it's the their best years with this coach. 
Um, they've never won an AFCON knockout stage and they did it this year and uh, um, I think they lost yeah, maybe unlucky in the, in the last 16 of the AFCON. So uh, against, yeah, against Nigeria, um, they had good ball possession against Nigeria and yeah, so I think it will be a tough game like I said. The players play in top European leagues. Um, they they recruited now a new goalkeeper also from Portuguese league uh, who's 37. Um, they got back a player from um, Botafogo, um, also an experienced player in the defense. So I think um, it would be very very tough. So like I said, uh, we studied them also. Um, um, I think I find uh, I found solution and it's now about to me also to transfer it to the players and I hope we can do well. Uh, first of all, I'm happy that. Um, yeah, no, I'm happy that uh, we are talking about players which are there. You know, not always only about players who are not there and why is this not there. So Jonas um, had an extremely good season last year, um, um, especially the last six months um, at, at Basel and also now started very, very well. Um, you know, we have a range about, let's say, 60 players of Ghanaian descent, which we are observing um, in Europe. And then we have also players in the local leagues where, where we think they're closer to the, to the national team. And Jonas is one of them. He, like I said, he extremely good in winning duels. Um, he's fast, he has a good height. Um, um, very, very good one against one um, defensively. And um, he had really, really good games at Basel. And at the end, we decided for him. He's also a project. He's yet, uh, young, 20 years old. He has played with the, um, with the um, under 20 national team. Um, so for us, we are very delighted to have him here. And um, I saw him in the training and really look good. I don't know. <laughs> no, I know if he's going to start or not, but surely, I mean, you, don't know. you know that I can't give you the starting 11 now because, not because, like, I don't like it or whatever, whatsoever, but I don't want because everybody's watching them to know how we start. That's the only reason. <laughs> Um, I mean, look, with Baba, it's like all other players who we talked to already. The door is always open. If, if a player like of his caliber is ready to play, we are always open. But I don't. I would never put somebody under pressure. And um, I will use this opportunity again to say. The press has a big, big responsibility. Um, whatever you say, every player has friends, every player has family, every player has kids, they have nephews, niece, and they read and hear what you are saying. Um, it's very, very sad when people say very bad things about somebody personally, when people insult, um, it affects the family. And the worst thing is maybe you come home and your kids are coming and crying. And then you think, okay, why am I doing this? I want to help the country, but for what? Because the money is earned somewhere else, to be honest. This is, these are the players. So I can understand every player who takes this decision. And like I said, the responsibility is on the media, not, I mean, Criticize me or criticize other players. Or whatever, I think it's 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 okay. It's legal, but the moment you step over a certain line and insult, for me that's it's not okay. You know, and to be honest, I don't read too many news. I just see it sometimes from here and from there, um, and maybe now I'll criticize you. I want to give you a compliment. At the moment, 
the questions you had today, very, very good. Mm. You know, very, very good, really, really good. Not about whatever, why are you sweating or <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> no, no this is, these are good questions, really, really, really. So far, really, really good. Tactical questions, you know, individual tactics. So this is, this is what we're looking up for. Solomon Amankwa from Media General. Now, I want to ask, since you came for the second time, it looks like any time you make a call-up, one or two key players miss the squad through injury. Does that affect how you want to play as a coach? And two, Jordan's late arrival, will it affect or will it have an implication on your team selection, considering his form in recent games for the Black Star? Okay, the second question won't have an affection because um, it was not his fault um, that he came late and it's due to the schedule and planning and then also he, I gave him one more day because he moved from uh, to, to Leicester, yeah, to Leicester. So it was a little bit difficult um, with him. And then um, the first question was what again? Yeah, but at the end it's the same for, for every team. So. Um, it's, it was um, the last time when I was at the World Cup that we had some injuries. Um, every time, I mean, we have some injuries, but the, our opponent as well. So it equals at the end. Um, um, surely, if you have the full squad ready, it's the best. And it's the hardest for me because then I have to make even harder decisions. But um, yeah, this is football. And um, like I said at the beginning, and all, especially FIFA, we have to really watch the calendar that the things will not get too much. And I know it's good because a lot of tournaments, uh, people are excited and um, everybody's making money, but we have to really um, take care of the health of our players. Last tactical question. Tactical. Coach, is it true or can you confirm to the media that you and your technical team are planning to make a uh, I mean, we are not planning, so he was the captain the last time, and he will be the captain this time. This one I can guarantee you, and so our plans are over. So you see a lot of players We know that by protocol, we are not. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I want to know. I think it's important that we address it here. Yeah, so, so that our work does not look like we are begging for assistance. So, we, we try to be as professional as we can be. Yes. All of us here know that first we should be access. Um, yeah, so, we, I want to be clear. I want to know whether I could allow us to finish. Yes, yes. You yes. saw what happened with the Angola game. You saw all the so shouting and to, everything. Yeah. I had to. They got the wrong information. I, I so dealt with that. We need that to be So, that when you're filming, you're still here. Yeah. Nobody's screaming at you. It's, 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 it gets a bit embarrassing. That was my point. So it's clear now. Yeah. So, so the, like, so 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 the first 15 minutes, it's open. Okay.